nhproequip.com. Today I'm going to show you our PWB1530A wheel balancer. I'm going to show you how to put a tire onto the shaft and secure it, and then I'm going to show you how to balance that tire. So here we go. First of all, there's a series of cones on the side of the machine. I picked a cone that I believe is going to fit. In order to make sure that it fits, you want to just set it in the hole. That one fits just fine. So on the uh, shaft, I have a spring, and I'm going to put the cone on with the large end against the spring. I put the tire onto the shaft. I take the quick nut. There's a little lever on it so that you can pull the threads out of the way and it'll slide all the way home. And then you let go of the lever and you tighten it securely. Now this is made out of plastic. It's durable. It'll stand up. But you can overdo it. So when you get down to tight, all you need is snug. You don't have to go crazy. I rotate the tire just to make sure it's not wobbling and that it's secure. Look at the back of it. It's against the flange, so we're all ready to go. Now that I have the tire mounted on the wheel balancer, I'm going to show you how to balance the tire. We need to take our measurements. We use the measuring stick right here. We pull it out. We put it against the inside bead of the tire. You see it reads 90 and 15. We have a 15-inch tire. When I set it all the way back to rest, I get the letter B, 6 O. That is the width of the tire. In this case, we're going to take a set of calipers, and we're going to measure the tire from bead seat to bead seat, and we're 6 and 1 half. So, it's reading 6. I want 6 and 1 half. I'm simply going to press the up arrow to 6 and 1 half. So now all my readings are in. Now I can double check them by hitting the, the double arrow key. The arrow goes left and right. 15 inch diameter, 93 inches out to the tire. I know it read 90, but the computer will read specifically when you double check. And 6.5 was the width I set. We're all ready to balance the tire. All we have to do is shut the hood and let it spin. So here we go. <clears throat> going to spin it. It says uh, go dynamic when it's spinning. If it was static, it'd have an ST on the other side. And we need an ounce and 0.75. So now I'm going to rotate so all five lights are on. And you notice I've got all five lights on the inside. I've also got a laser. That laser reads when there's an imbalance. If we had no imbalance, this read zero that laser would not light. Don't let that bother you, that's normal. All right, I'm gonna pound the weight on right where the laser says to at 12 o'clock. And then I'm gonna take the other weight, I'm gonna li line up all five lights on the outside. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put the weight at 12 o'clock on the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it to check it, make sure that it reads zero. So there you go, now we have a perfectly balanced tire. My name is Fred Heinz, I'm with NewHampshireProEquip.com in the state of New Hampshire. If you need more information, go to our website or watch our YouTube videos. Thank you for watching our video, have a good day. NHProEquip.com